Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this is a gorgeous rainbow set I did last night. I'm just starting off on this ring finger and doing a extended nail bed using peach bell cover from Glitter Bells. I'm just popping that bead down, flattening it down at the back and then using the side of my brush and the tip of my brush to create the smile line. So this set is originally done by Kerry Anderson. She is insanely talented. I will leave a link to her Instagram in the description box. And yeah, I thought I would do her set because I am entering a competition on Liz Guild's face, um, Facebook group called Nail Tech Safety Net it's called nail idol so the first round you have to recreate a set from one of your favorite nail idols so I decided on this one so once I'd done that nail bed I went on to this middle finger here and I'm just creating a rainbow stripe down the middle and I'm using this glitter is from glitterati nails I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head but it's just a lovely purple one so I'm just making sure those sides are nice and straight. Just doing it nice and thinly because I'm going to cap it in clear. And then all these glitters that are coming in next are from Chin Chintis. Chintis. I, can't, I can't remember how to pronounce it. And it comes in a stacker. I think it's called a festival stacker. So there's a pink one, orange one, green one, blue one and a yellow one. And they're all very pretty. So as you can see, just coming in with a small tiny bead and just laying it down and trying to straighten up the sides as much as I can and there's the yellow out oh, this so pretty such pretty glitters So I tried to copy Kerry's design um, to a T pretty much so yeah I'm just uh, I was really nervous because it's not often I fully fully recreate a nail text design I usually try and change it up a little bit but obviously for the competition it had to be exactly the same but I was really happy with the result so now that bit's done, I'm just going to leave that to set a little bit before I come in with the clear. And now I'm coming in on the pinky and doing rainbow stripes in the glitter. So we've got all the same colours I just used on the other nail, but I'm going to apply little bubbly dot things on top. You can't really see it in the video, you can a little bit. You'll see it better on the thumb. Uh, these ones are from Diamond Glitters, so they match the colours perfectly. They are pretty much the same. Well, they are like the same type of glitter, just in different shape. So I'm coming in, putting a tiny bit of that multi-mix glitters down, the colour, whichever colour it is, and then I come in on the top with the dots. I don't add any acrylic, I just pick up the dots with my brush and dab them on top, because obviously the glitter that I've just laid down is still wet and they stick nicely you can definitely see better on the thumb because obviously there's more space because I do exactly the same on the thumb as I've done on here so just working my way down the nail as you can see creating this beautiful rainbow effect honestly the it, the camera doesn't pick it up but these this nail and the thumbnail were seriously beautiful with those little dots on top and then a tiny little space for the blue at the end <laughs> And then I'd forgot to put the purple ones down, so I just come in now and add the purple ones. 
just putting the tiniest bit of clear down because I don't want to make that cuticle area chunky and I'm just pop popping those purpley ones down look how pretty that is honestly love it it's going to be like my go-to this summer just love it so I'm going to cap this making sure the walls are nice and high so I've got something to file against to make it nice and crisp once it's set and just using the sides of my brush to straighten up those edges a tiny bit of pink glitter there at the end it was really annoying me but it already set but luckily you couldn't see it at the, <laughs> at the end so I did faff about with this bit for quite a while because obviously I wanted it to be perfect as it was for a competition and yeah I've always struggled doing these colour block stripes but these ones were definitely the best I've ever done so I was quite pleased with that. I'm just adding a little bit of purple up at the top there because I didn't feel it was straight enough. So just put that little bit of purple in and then I think I cap. Yeah, I'm just making sure it's all one, one height so we don't have any dips or anything. It doesn't matter if it's like super bulky at this point because obviously you're going to come in and file it nice and smooth anyway but you want to make sure all that glitter is really capped well this one is a full marble nail so that is flamingo feather tropical sunrise purple rain i'll swirl them together there are all these colors are glitter bell colors that's highlighter green queen bee and bright blue remember to use Stacy 5% for 5% off your order if you want to order any of these glitter bells colors so again flamingo feather highlighter green and bright blue oh and Queen Bee just using the tip of my brush to swirl them about a bit So I felt there was too much green and blue in the middle there so I'm just adding in little stripes of colour to break that up a little bit. I obviously wasn't paying attention when applying my little beads to swirl because I should have known that I was putting the colours too close together. <laughs> then I'm just going around that cuticle area with some more colour to make sure it's nice and neat. marble is marble it does like it's never going to be perfect it's never going to be exactly the same every time so you, you just do it however it works for you so I totally forgot to file in this smile line luckily I'd done a pretty good job <laughs> so yeah you didn't see me file the smile line because I didn't I totally forgot I just got carried away with the colors so I'm just doing the same as the index finger but with the tip area of this French just popping down some colours, making sure it's nice and neat, swelling them together, trying not to go over the smile line area and onto the nail bed. And getting right up into those wings. As you can see, I'm using the tiniest, tiniest beads up there. So that's that so far. And now I'm coming in with my file and pushing against the acrylic, not down onto my client's nail or onto the tip because you don't want to break the tip or hurt your client. So just 
pushing right up against it. You can't really see, but as I'm pushing against it with the file, I'm using my fingers to steady the nail at the other side, so I'm pushing against each other. Making sure all that dust is gone, because you don't want to lay any acrylic on any dust. And then I'm coming in again with Peachabelle cover. This one is the darkest of the cover pinks from Glitter Bells at the minute. I do know there is more cover pinks being released uh, very soon, next week or two, I would think. Um, I don't take my 100% word for that because I haven't got an exact date, but I do know there is more cover pinks being released very, very soon, along with tips and glue and base coat has already been released i think um so there's lots of things being released yet again so keep your eye on the glitter bells website nailsbyannabelle.co.uk so i'm just working with small beads trying to make sure i fill in this area nice and neatly that the side walls are nice and flush the cuticle area is nice and flush just try and work as neatly as possible that's the only advice I can give you with colour block. Obviously, it looks a hot mess before you file it, but that's fine. It's colour block and it's pretty funny to see clients' face. <laughs> so when they've never had colour block before, they're like, What is she doing? Um, why is this nail about three inches thick? <laughs> but yeah, once it comes to filing, it all reveals and it looks beautiful. But if you try and keep everything nice and neat, as neatly as you can, it just makes for less filing at the end. I'm just checking that tip area, um, that free edge area to make sure it's nice and like the same level all the way across. So this thumb is exactly the same as the pinky finger, but you can see it all a little bit more because there's more space. So I'm coming in with that purple again. And I'm just trying to be as neat as possible around that cuticle area without actually touching the cuticle. So I'm just dabbing it about with the tip of my brush, making sure it's nice and covered. And then I'm gonna come in with those dots again. Seriously, if you don't have these dots, you must get them. They are a must have for this summer. They just really pop. Just to remind you, all the dots are from Diamond Glitters. Except for the green ones that I use on this set. The green ones are actually from Nails by Annabelle. Because I didn't get a green one in the dot set from Diamond Glitters. So look how gorgeous. I think I do a little slow-mo after I've done the full nail anyway. So you'll get to see it in all its glory. So remember not to add any bulk, to add the dots straight on top of the wet acrylic instead of picking the dots up with clear acrylic because you'd really want to try and keep this as thin as possible so you can cap it. Like seriously, that nail looks good enough to eat. I just want to lick it. <laughs> it looks so nice. So here's my little slow-mo. I think I do a slow-mo at the end after our top coat as well, so it's exciting. 
So I'm just going to file this bit here and show you the reveal because let's be honest, who doesn't love a reveal? The drill I'm using, <clears throat> can't remember its name, but the e-file bit is the best e-file bit I've ever used and that's from Harvey's Nails. It's a blue medium safety bit and it is insanely good. So I found an almost identical, well it was identical to look at one on Amazon to this bit and I thought oh I'll give it a go because it's a lot cheaper than the Harvey's Nails one. I wanted to test them out and by far by a mile the Harvey's Nails one was better. I can't even use the one from Amazon it's so crap. So I'm just coming in I have capped all of these nails in clear acrylic and I have filed and shaped them and I am now coming in with my Glitter Bells No Wipe top coat and I am top coating all of these absolute beauties. So this is a smile line that I didn't actually file in. I'm super proud of it because I can't believe how well it looks to say I didn't even file it. And look how gorgeous that colour block stripe is. I just love the whole set completely. I'm going to have to do a set like this on myself for when I go on holiday. And just top coat just brings out it just makes them pop all those bright beautiful colors just really pop and here's the god i don't know why honestly i just love the dots on top of that glitter it's re up my ginnel <laughs> sorry i'm so yorkshire <laughs> anyway yeah there's the slow-mo just stunning and just because, let's be honest, we love a top coat, I thought I'd show you the other hand, even though it's identical to the first one. You just can't beat it. So I really hope you've liked this video and I will let you know how I do in the competition. Hopefully I'll get through to the next round and you will see the next lot of nails that I create for it. But if I don't, that's fine. There's a lot of competition in it, <laughs> but we shall see. So this is the end result. I am in love with these nails. I know I say that every time, but I think these are a little extra special. Thanks, Kerry, for the inspiration. And fingers crossed I do well in the competition. So I'll see you again very shortly with another video. Bye.